All right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. We are going to absolutely crush some pull-ups today. Uh, but first, just warming up. Ever since I injured my forearm in February, um, it's been a long road back to doing pull-ups. So a little bit more careful about getting them warmed up. All right, so we're going to hit some weighted pull-ups. But you can see there we got the Bells of Steel seal row pad. Just picked that up. So we're going to hit some high and low seal rows after we do the pull-ups. Let's get to the pull-ups. All right, so I'm warming up with some body weight uh, pull-ups. Been doing a lot of neutral grip. It's easier on my forearm. Um, then I'm going to switch to some pronated grip. This is what I was doing when I injured my uh, my forearm, my uh, radio brachialis. Uh, I don't know if I tore something or just strained it really bad, but it's been like eight months of healing to get back to the point of being able to do much of anything as far as weighted pull-ups go. So... 22 pounds there neutral 22 pounds pronated so slowly being able to add uh weight pronated but i'm not not pushing it quickly um then up 45 pounds neutral grip i got the strap on my right hand here once i go heavier i'm wearing the strap on uh both arms i'm dealing with an injury on my on my right arm too but what we did here today was uh we pyramided up so 22 pounds 45 pounds now we're up to 55 pounds so the goal today is just to keep pushing up doubles um, until I feel like I just uh, can't go any further. So um, 55 pounds, then 62.7 pounds here. And then we're going to finish up with uh, 70.5 pounds. Um, just five pounds off where, where I hurt myself. So I was actually thrilled to get back. Didn't quite get my chin to the bar. Super happy with that rep though. Forearms held up, got most of the way up. We're building power. It's confidence builder. Right then I worked my way back down, did all the same reps on the, or weights on the way back down. And um, since I injured myself, just really Ooh. focused on making sure that I engage my scaps, starting the movement, not just yanking straight off with my forearms. Um, I was really good about that before I lost focus on one set at 75 pounds and absolutely obliterated my forearm. Like I said, eight months of healing to get back to this point. So just thrilled to be back here. Now we're doing max uh, reps with a 20 pound kettlebell. And so I had no idea what I could do here, but uh, the goal was just to grind out reps with 20 pounds until I couldn't grind any more reps out. Overall, it was everything was moving nice. Forearms felt good. Um, straps definitely helped. Just got to do what I got to do to keep myself feeling good, not not re-injure. Uh, so eight reps for twenty pounds. Then I did a max set of body weight. It's a, it, insane. Even like after all that volume, um, you go to body weight after doing weighted reps, and it feels like you're floating for the first few reps. You can see even here. Five reps in, we're looking fast, we're looking smooth, six reps, still going good. Felt great, I'm not gonna lie. It was a really good pull-up workout. Um, strength's coming back, I'm just getting back into doing weighted pull-ups. So, really encouraging for me. The biggest thing coming back from injury is to be smart, but not be fearful. The start of each rep, I'm just reminding myself, start with the scaps. I got the straps on to make it easier on my forearms. And from there, Come just on. repping out pull-ups. The same way I always do. Preparing to hit some big goals on pull-ups. Want to try to get myself up over 20 body weight pull-ups and want to get up to a minimum of a 100 pound weighted pull-up. Um, so those are the goals. Working to crush them. Got 13 reps there after all that weighted volume. Seeing all the grief I've had with my forearms lately. Thrilled. All right, so after the pops, we're trying the new Bells of Steel seal row attachment on the squat rack. I love seal rows. I'm doing this the day before deadlift day. So you're going to do do deadlifts and uh, RDL 21, so lots of lower back volume. So I'm trying to save my back, um, lower back, while crushing some upper back. So it took me a little bit to kind of figure out the setup on this, but it uh, worked really, really well. So I did the low rows, three sets of low rows. 155 pounds. So the goal there is to pull towards your hips, really get those lats working. 
Um, and then I hit it some, with some high rows, so 125 pounds here. And here I'm flaring the elbows out more, really trying to hit that upper back, um, kind of between my shoulders, shoulder to shoulder, getting those scaps moving, getting those rhomboids working. After that, we are going into some single arm rows. So what I like about these, you can really lean and get a, just a sweet stretch. Uh, so I superset that with some rope pull downs. Um, so rope pull downs two ways. You can see here again, flaring out the elbows, um, getting some good vertical pulling here. So you can see the way the scaps are moving here, really bringing the scaps together in my back. Um, really engages those muscles that you're going to be using say like on a bench press and then from there going into a, a kind of like a pull down into a row um, so this really hits the lats hard you want to keep the elbows in tight and go with that good lat movement um, so kind of like that arcing movement again pulling towards my hips um, and then back again into the single arm cable rows so some good um, stretch we did the bilateral stuff with the seal rows and this exercise with the cable just allows you to get an insane stretch one arm at a time um you can see the way i lean towards the stack stretch as far as i can and then i come back and kind of lean into the cable a little bit on the contraction um and we're back to doing the uh pull downs again rope pull downs just showing you here from a different angle and then the, the low row, so you can see here the way I'm pulling down um, just below my chest, trying to get as low as I can, really hit those lats hard. Um, I always say good combination of vertical and horizontal pulls for a big back. Next up, we're hitting some banded face pulls. So I know the big rage these days, hypertrophy, get the stretch, but man, I love bands for the contraction. Um, you can really get that squeeze at the back. Uh, focus on that. Um, I, the, the stretch is hugely important, but in my mind, the bands, the contraction forces you to work at that hardest part of the movement. Um, so we did the banded face pulls. Now we're doing banded pull aparts. Um, these have been awesome for my upper back development. And then finishing off with some shrugs. So we got the vertical pulls, the horizontal pulls, and then we do some vertical pulls, but from the bottom up for the traps. Those to me are the three combinations that are going to give you a big upper back. Um, we finished off with some pressing. So um, just working on my pressing strength. I did triceps the day before. My week's been a bit jumbled around. So uh, triceps were definitely fatigued. But um, got some work in with uh, 124 pounds. So I'm just going to start light. Uh, same thing I did with my deadlift. Same thing I did with my uh, squat here recently. Start a little lighter and then I'm just going to add five pounds a week, work my way up. There's no point in uh, just grinding near my max week in, week out. I need to build a base um, and just build on that every week, keep the speed going. Um, and uh, just progressively overload a little bit every week and I will fly past uh, where I was at. That's my eight reps, just working on a little push press. So... Push press is nice to start a little light too, just to try to be as explosive as possible and we'll just try to carry that through week to week, stay as explosive as we can even as the weights get heavier. That's it for the workout. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.